Welcome Scorpio to a, another general reading here with me. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love tarot read. Do keep in mind Scorpio, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. So uh, with that, just take what you need from this reading and leave what doesn't apply. However, if you do find that the messages coming through resonates with your current situation, by all means, let me know by liking and or subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already done so, I will love you forever and ever. <laughs> um, for those of you who are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all the details will be in the show more section. Do keep in mind though, guys, there is around a 10 working day turnaround for all of those, all personal and private readings. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome guys. Um, you may not be aware, but I'm also over on Instagram where I do general readings over on that platform. Feel free to check those out. They are only about 10 minutes long, but there might be a message over there waiting for you. So if that interests you, again, all the details will be in the show more section. All right, Scorpio, let's dive on in and see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming week. Right, we've got the Judgment card coming through and we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Nice. <clears throat> judgment and Ten of Pentacles. So we'll just, oh, two cards wanted to come out. We've got Sun of Swords, Ten of Wands. So here's the thing with the judgment card. I feel up to this point, Scorpio, with the judgment, you know, you've had to learn some hard lessons um, in love, in relationships, in dating. Um, but I feel like now uh, in the upcoming week, it's like whatever you've learned up to this point, it will be put to test. It'll be put to the test. I feel with the Ten of Wands that you have put a lot of work into um, yourself. Um, and I feel like whatever you decide here moving forward in your current love situation, it will be a successful outcome for you. Because Ten of Pentacles speaks to success. Results. Okay. It could involve an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like whatever decision you're making here, um, you're being put to the test. And I feel like whatever decision you're making, it'll be a quick decision on your end. It's like you're... It's like someone here is pressuring you with the Ten of Wands to give some kind of answer. You may feel pressure here to um, respond to someone here. Yeah, I'm getting strong air energy, guys. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got the Father of Swords again. But I feel here... With the Father of Swords, you're going to make a head over heart decision. Okay, head over heart decision here. You're seeing things very clearly in love. You're seeing things very clearly when it comes to your special person. You're seeing things very clearly what it is that you want from a relationship. You know, the Father of Swords, he's very intelligent. This tells me here that you've wised up. Okay, the wool cannot be pulled over your eyes here. Okay, now I was going to take that card, but I didn't feel called to. <clears throat> Mother of Cups. Interesting, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, but you are a water sign, Scorpio. And I see this card here as 
an individual who is emotionally well-rounded and balanced. Why? Because she's been through a lot. She's learnt a lot through love, through connecting with others, through having her heart broken, through not understanding her worth and her value. She's learnt a lot. And now she's at this place where she is emotionally grounded. She's taking responsibility of her emotions as well. And you can see here in this card, um, I'm going to call it a duck. It could be a goose. I don't know. Uh, she, with her wing, is covering that entry point of that chalice. So although the mother of cups, she's a very supportive and nurturing and kind person, she reserves her emotions and feelings for those that deserve her attention. Does that make sense, Scorpio? And I feel like this is you. It doesn't change the fact that um, just because you care for someone here that you should just, you know, fall over backwards for this person or fall at their feet and do whatever for this person. No, no, no. The Mother of Cups doesn't move that way. She moves with softness yet firmness okay she's willing to listen um she's willing to perhaps show compassion and understanding in a situation but it doesn't mean that she has to do anything with her emotions it doesn't mean she has to do anything with that and I feel like you're saving yourself. You're learning now at this point in the game to save and reserve those emotions for the one that appreciates you. Okay. I see here, if, it's, if it comes down to you and another person, I see someone is a little more emotionally detached. You're more in your feels and this other person is, in their, is, is detached emotionally. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Six of Cups. You share history with this person. You've had something with this person. Maybe it's an ex. Maybe this is your current partner. Okay, the roots run deep in this current connection or in this current situation i feel like here there's someone here that may return with the son of swords see there's someone moving in quickly toward you scorpio here um i feel like they want to move toward you very very quickly they want to talk to you um they want to speak to you and it's because they've been thinking about you okay you've been occupying this person's mind You've been occupying this person's thoughts. It may be someone at work or someone that you've worked with on in some capacity, but it's like they're remembering, they're feeling sentimental, they're feeling nostalgic, okay? And they're coming in with some kind of tenderness themselves, Father of Cups. They may be coming in with uh, a message of love, they may be coming in wanting to support you in some way. Okay. They may be coming in. I'm looking at the five of swords here to, to you know, sincerely apologize for maybe a misunderstanding or a falling out that you guys had in the past. But you've learned a lot from this person. Um, look at this. Sorry, I have to show you. And again, I saw the four of cups underneath there which is like this person may have been breadcrumbing you this person but it's a rat okay so you know you can't fully trust this person but they're coming in with some kind of peace offering love offer or reconciliation like let's wipe the slate clean let's start again they may be even coming in to compliment you 
okay? This person may be looking back on old photographs. Now, if this is your current partner, I feel like they're going back in time with the Six of Cups. They're revisiting in their head uh, something that played out between you um, and they maybe want to like clear it. They want to clear it and like start fresh, start again. Hope that makes sense. So let's get some more messages surrounding your person and what it is that you need to know uh, when it comes to their thoughts, when it comes to their feelings um, at this current time. That's always changing, okay? That's always changing. So make sure you guys um, check out my weekly love reads because I do release a weekly love read every week. Um, so to keep up with those, make sure you check them out. But this is for this week, okay? So it can change to next week. But this is the energy that we're reading of this person in the current week. For whatever week that is for you, whenever you get this reading. Okay, very interesting. Your person's coming through as the phoenix, Okay, as the phoenix energy. They may be coming in to tell you that they've changed, but I feel like they're going through some hardship or some lessons themselves. They're also coming through as the panther. The upward pointing triangle does represent fire, so this could be a fire sign. I do feel like with the panther here overall, the panther's mouth is open, so I feel like this person wants to talk to you. Um... They want to get something off of their chest. Mm. They want to tell you something. They want to get something off of their chest. I do detect jealousy within this person. Um, maybe they're coming in to tell you that they're jealous. Maybe they're coming to tell you that something that they've seen, um, maybe online or on social media that's making them feel triggered or making them feel jealous. But I feel like this person that you're dealing with in love is undergoing major, major changes on a spiritual level. Okay, maybe they're, maybe they're receiving their karma. Maybe they're going through some karmic lessons right now. Okay, we've got two cards. Six of Wands, yeah, this person wants some kind of victorious outcome. They want you to acknowledge them. They're coming in. They want your attention. They want you to listen to them. They want you to pay them attention. Okay, but they want victory here with you. They want to share something with you here. Look at this. Ace of Swords, more, more air energy, guys. So you are definitely on this person's mind. This person cannot get... Uh, something out of their head, okay? And they definitely want to clear the air here with you. Um, they definitely want to clear the air here with you. They want to speak some kind of truth. But they want you to look at them... They want you to be, like, proud of them in some way or... They want you to see them in a high light. Mm, I hope that makes sense, guys. So, yeah, to close out this reading, I do feel like this person is coming in with some kind of a message. They do want to speak some kind of truth. They have had you or a situation on their mind that they need to clear the air here. I feel like they need to clear the air here because they want a brand new beginning with you. They want to wipe the slate clean. They want success and they want to start again. So there we have it, Scorpio. I do hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, take care, my loves.